Today, we're covering a piece of breaking theater news. It seems that Disney's Aladdin will be the next pro shop musical to hit the streaming platform Disney+. Plus. Weirdly enough though, it was already supposed to have been released. Let's break down the story, discuss what we do know of this reported pro shot, and guess which musicals could be coming next to Disney+. Plus. If this is your first time seeing my face, hi! My name is Kat and I really like musicals. If you really like musicals, hit subscribe to join the musical theater internet. Cult. I mean, it's not a cult, but in a much more real sense of the word, it is a cult. So hit subscribe. Question of the day, what are your thoughts on Aladdin possibly coming to Disney Plus? Do you love it? Are you not into it? Are you somewhere in between? Let me know in the comments down below. Personally, I'm pumped. I feel like such a broken record saying this, and I'm sorry if this is the 50th time you've heard me mention this, but any way that we can make musical theater accessible while also still making it profitable for the artists, I am so down. Especially a move like this from such a visible company like Disney, this could help make pro shots a more regular occurrence. So let's get to the story. According to Filmed On Stage, Disney did record their production of Aladdin on the West End before it closed last year, but reportedly it wasn't just filmed for archival purposes, it was filmed for a worldwide release. Now, if you're confused about the difference between the two or why it's so insanely difficult to make pro shots happen, I actually recently did a whole in-depth video explaining that. So I'll link that down below if you wanna check that out or if you need a refresher. Now, although a rep from Disney did confirm that Aladdin was filmed for public distribution, we don't have any broadcast details or a release date yet. And that's probably because the pro shot was actually scheduled to come out earlier this year year, but was ultimately pushed back in favor of bringing up Hamilton's release date. If you remember, the Hamilton Pro Shot was supposed to have a theatrical, like, in-movie theater release more than a year from now. So now, with the massive success of Hamilton on Disney+, Plus and this huge increase in subscribers to the platform, Disney is reportedly trying to hang on to this theater-loving demographic. Finally! People care about the theater kids! I feel like we are typically not at the top of the consumer food chain, so I am thrilled. So now it seems like Aladdin, live from the West End, which is the official reported title, will be hitting Disney Plus around the holidays, which I kind of love. There's something very wholesome about like Disney and musical theater and magic and family time in the holidays, so I'm super down. Now let's discuss another interesting part of this story, the cast. According to sources, Trevor Dion Nicholas of the West End cast will be playing the role of Genie. However, the other actors will all be made up from different productions of Aladdin. My guess would be National Tour, Broadway, and West End. So I'm very interested to see who's going to be in this production and just kind of the concept of kind of forming this awesome Frankenstein casting. Did that make sense? Do you understand what I what I mean by that? Like you're kind of putting together like like a dream cast. Also, I'd love to hear from you if you're a super fan of Aladdin. Are there any performers in particular that you're hoping to see in the pro shot? Let me know. Additionally, and ultimately, I'm curious to see if this is going to open the door for Disney to produce more pro shots of their musicals. And if so, which ones? Personally, I think The Little Mermaid would be a fantastic candidate. With the upcoming film adaptation, I think we're gonna see a big resurgence in popularity for Little Mermaid. Maybe they could use the recent national tour cast led by Diana Huey. I think we'll definitely be seeing Frozen the musical coming to Disney Plus, but eventually. Although the Broadway production was amongst one of the first musicals to announce that they would not be reopening post quarantine, they are gearing up for the West End production. So I don't think we'll get a pro shot while that production is running. So something to look out for on the horizon. Same with the current West End production of Mary Poppins. I know at the moment they're scheduled to reopen in 2021, so if they haven't filmed it already, I definitely see them doing that. I will say I don't anticipate a Lion King pro shot happening anytime soon. In addition to not only being one of the longest running musicals on Broadway, it is a huge money maker. It is a massive tourist attraction. And that's one of the major markets that pro shots are typically wary of. There is supposed to be a Broadway revival of Beauty and the Beast in the works, so hopefully they'll film that and release that after the fact as well. Admittedly, I'm not sure what the cost versus demand for bringing back a production like, let's say, Disney's Tarzan would look like, so I'm not sure that would be the most likely option for a pro shot. And I have no clue if this would ever be a realistic option, but can I just say, the Finding Nemo musical at Animal Kingdom. 
is so good. I would love to see it. It's like a half hour long. It's adapted by the Lopez's. I was obsessed with the music when I was 11. Maybe there's an interest there to film it and put it up as like a short or a special or I don't know, I just want it. Also, this is unrelated to the story, but I wanted to tell you guys about something really cool happening starting this weekend. Youth for Justice and Peace is an online talent showcase of young creatives for racial equality. Karina, who's a longtime member of the Theater Thursday fam, reached out to me about it, and I think it's so cool and so important. They're raising money for six different BIPOC nonprofits, including Innocence Project and the Cameron Boyce Foundation. It's gonna be a great way to support these nonprofits and get a dose of theater that I'm sure we are all sorely missing. The two virtual performances are on August 1st and August 8th, so they are coming up. I know that money can be tight, especially right now, so if you'd like to attend the performance but can't afford to do so, I did buy an extra five tickets, so if you'd like one of those spots, check out the description box below. Also, just check it out so you can learn more about this awesome fundraiser, and I hope to see you there. That being said, that is the story on Aladdin, Disney+, Plus, and what the future of Pro Shots could look like. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out and I'd really appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!